Good evening, beloved. Welcome to Friday Sit Down with myself, Pastor Dineo. You are welcome to this time of fellowship where we divide the word of God, we pray, and we trust God for the weekend ahead to be with us. Remember that we are situated at number 83 Rosemary Avenue. We'd love to also fellowship with you on Sundays as our Sunday services, they start at 10.30 a.m. Please do come, greet us, and fellowship with us. We are under the leadership of Bishop Alfred Nebudanda, who's the professor, and also Dr. Rachel, the apostle of the house, our mother. Please do come and join us. Come, let us pray as we start our devotion for this evening. Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, the one who was, who is, and is to come. My Father, this evening we invite you. We invite your presence as we start with the reading of your word and this devotion. That may it be a blessing to each and everyone who's watching out there. May your word never go back unto you void, O oh God. I declare the blood of Jesus across all the airways. Let tonight be a night where we are blessed and you speak unto our lives in a very supernatural way. In Jesus' name, amen. <clears throat> Amen. Thank you so much, beloved, for joining us once again. For today, we are going to read our scripture from the book of prophet Isaiah 53, verse 4 to 5. And it reads as follows. But in fact, he has borne our griefs and he has carried our sorrows and pains. Yet we ignorantly assumed that he was stricken struck down by God and degraded and humiliated by him. But he was wounded for our transgression. He was crushed for our wickedness, for our sins, our injustice, our wrongdoing. The punishment required for our well-being fell upon him. And by his stripes, wounds, we are healed. Amen. By his stripes and wounds, we are healed. Amen. So for today, as we will be sharing this devotion, in the May month, we have noticed that a whole lot of us have been having a challenge with a flu or a rather respiratory problem because of the seasons that have changed. The body is struggling to adjust and as well also we don't know whether there's something in the air or not. But it is the season that we are in. Because remember that there is a time and a season for everything. So whether we are in a flu season or whatever, we have to embrace it. And make sure that we pray that God help to carry us through out of it. I just want to declare this word to us tonight that irrespective of what is happening, we will not go back to COVID-19. The situation will never go back to the way it was. No matter the challenge we might be having respiratory so or in whatever way that you might be feeling sick in your body or tired or, you know, down. Because I know most people have been saying they're experiencing headache, flu symptoms, the body is just tired and so on. And I want us to agree together that we have overcome the devil by the word of our mouth and through the blood of Jesus. So we need to declare that irrespective of how it may look like, irrespective of what may be said, irrespective of what our bodies may be feeling, irrespective of what the mind would be saying. Because one thing that I know, when you have experienced something, it is easy for you to be afraid when you feel like the attack is coming again. I want us to steady our minds to say that we know how we felt during COVID-19. We know the fear that gripped us. We know how our chests were congested. We know how we struggled with many things. But today we declare in the name of Jesus that we will never encounter what we encountered with COVID-19 again. People will not die like flies again. 
We are standing upon the word of God according to Isaiah 53. That the punishment that was required from us, it fell upon Jesus Christ. And that by his stripes we are healed. Because he was wounded for our transgression. Everything that the enemy requires from us. Everything that the enemy thinks he will get out of us. He must know that Jesus carried everything on the cross for us. The headache you are feeling, Jesus Christ carried it on the cross for you. The body pains that you are feeling, the Lord Jesus Christ has already taken it upon himself. Therefore, beloved, I want to encourage you, do not fear. Because once you fear, you are going to make your body to be symptomatic. You will start experiencing things that are not there. And the only entrance that the enemy can use to paralyze you, it is fear. That is why one author, Dr. John Tibani, may his soul rest in peace. He once defined fear as false evidence appearing real. Do not allow any false evidence to appear real in your body. We dismiss any report that may say that you will be experiencing COVID again. I'm saying this because I know that many people had COVID in the past time. And now the body is already telling you, hey, Mar, this feels like COVID, you know. <laughs> I want to tell you, rise up, dust yourself over. And remember the word of God in Nahum chapter 1, it says, affliction will not rise up the second time. We need to declare this as South Africans. We need to declare this as a nation. We need to declare this as a country. We need to declare this as a world. That affliction of COVID-19 virus will not rise up again the second time. We will not be under the fear that we went under in the past time. We will not suffer the losses we suffered in the past times. We will not suffer the retrenchments that we suffered because of COVID-19 in the past times again. Every form of affliction that faced us during COVID-19 will not rise up again. So the flu that might rise up, let it be a normal flu. It will not be a flu that will get us under the blanket. It will not be a flu that will put people in ICU. It will not be a flu that will make us count our loved ones today and not count them tomorrow. And I want to encourage you as well that please take serious precautions. When you feel that maybe you are coughing, wear your mask to protect those around you. Because the scripture does not mean that now we should not be, we should be ignorant remember the apostle paul says we are not ignorant of the devices of the enemy lest he gains advantage of us so do whatever it takes to make sure that the enemy does not gain advantage over us and then we'll also read in third john chapter 1 verse 2 it says beloved I pray that in every way you may succeed and prosper and be in good health. Physically, just as I know, your soul prospers spiritually. I decree and I declare that you will be in good health physically. You will be in good health mentally. You will be in good health psychologically. In every area of your life, you will be in good health even as your soul prosper, because the enemy wants us to proclaim scriptures, yet the body pains and so on, it will not happen, because Jesus was wounded for our transgression, and the chastisement of our peace were upon him, and by the 39 stripes, we are healed. We have been healed. Proclaim the healing upon your body. Not that you will be healed. You are healed in the name of Jesus. Therefore, I pray that the Lord will keep you, will sustain you, and that your body will remain nourished under the grace of God. Amen. Come, let us pray and declare a prayer across the airways. 
Heavenly Father, in the mighty name of our Lord Jesus Christ, the Son of the living God, my Father, we have declared your word according to the book of Isaiah 53 verse 4, that you were wounded for our transgressions, O God, and the chastisement of our peace were upon you, and that by the stripes on your back we were healed, O God. Not that we are going to be healed. We were healed, and we are healed. We have been made whole. Spirit of the living God, I declare, right now, now in this season where there's a lot of respiratory challenges that are facing your children that none of these challenges will amount to a virus that will keep us locked in our homes. None of these respiratory challenges will cause the death of our loved ones. We decree and declare, oh God, that by the stripes of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, every sickness, every virus, it has been cancelled by the blood of Jesus. We decree and declare that we shall be in good health even as our souls prosper in the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. O Spirit of the living God, arise, let your enemies be scattered. We declare that graves that were opened by the enemy, let them be shut in the name of Jesus. There is no grave of flu that will take us, O God, and our children. I hide everyone under the sound of my voice, um, under the blood of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Um, we dismiss every virus, um, known and unknown, O oh God. Um, we take charge over it with the blood of Jesus. Um, we take charge over it with the name of Jesus. Um, we say, let the name of Jesus um, penetrate every atmosphere right now. Let the blood of Jesus um, penetrate every atmosphere atmosphere right now. Through the mighty name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, we thank you Lord. We honor you. We bless your name in Jesus name. Amen. Amen. Thank you for joining us and be blessed. Keep warm and stay safe in Jesus name. Amen.